I wanted to get deporters into a union, what's the first thing I should do? Like so much of Charles officers' work, the story behind the porter had been overlooked. It was about North America's first black-led union, a history lesson still relevant today. Maybe it's set in 1921, but everything that we're talking about in this show applies to now. That was excellent. Let's cut. Yeah, dunia. He'd bring that relevancy to so many formats, from television to film, like his 2008 debut, Nurse Fighter Boy. Ma? You worried about her? Fiction to documentary, like 2017's Unarmed Verses, about Toronto community housing residents. They're building condos. We can't afford to even rent a condo. Charles obviously grew up as a young black kid in Toronto, but he was going to speak to it in the most beautiful and poetic way possible because he was a poet of the screen. I fall in love with everybody that I make a film with, and that's hard. With actors, they're off to another job. With documentaries, people go back to their lives. It's weird. I feel a responsibility that, that burdens me in a certain way that I can actually look after everybody. <laughs> He'd win many awards over the years. For my little son, 17 months old. Charles was a huge, huge contributor to that, to, to cinematic culture, to Canadian culture, to black culture. Um, and he was just getting started. His death has sparked an outpouring of love and memories and also a challenge. It's up to the rest of us who are still here to kind of pick up uh, where he left off and uh, keep telling stories about these communities. Charles' officer died from complications of a rare autoimmune disease that led to a lung transplant early this year. He was just 48 years old. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto.